Hi, and welcome to Studio Link VST Exposed. In this episode, we will be exposing how to successfully mix and master your beats and your songs. We will be using FL Studio since it is probably the most common DAW among our customers. But you can also use these same tips and apply them when mixing in any DAW like Logic, Ableton Live, Pro Tools, Studio One Machine, and more. This is Studio Link VST Exposed. Let's go. Okay, so now we're inside of FL Studio, and I want to show you how I like to quickly mix and master beats with vocals in them. No way am I saying this is the only way to mix, so pay attention. This is how I like to show people how to mix. Uh, if you don't mix your volumes of your instruments properly, you're going to get a real muddy type of sound. And with panning, it's going to allow us to make every instrument have its perfect place in the mix. Here's a beat with me singing on auto-tune. Um, I'll first show you guys the finished product and then we'll zero out all parameters and we'll go ahead and start from scratch mixing. Before we get into it, look at the actual sliders that you guys see here. You see how they're, they, they're not at zero. Most of them you see are at zero here when you first start out and I want to show you guys why you see none of them are at zero. It's going to allow us to have headroom at the end for our mastering. So let's go ahead and play the finished product. Okay, so there it goes. Uh, that's the finished product. We're going to go ahead now and zero out everything as well as pay attention to this. You guys see that every single instrument, including the vocal, has its own insert. So it's all separated. It allows us to have full control over every single instrument. Let's go ahead and start zeroing out all these. Just going to get close up here. We'll even zero out, zero out all the pans. So we you see, show you guys that right here. You see we're panning stuff in here. We're going to zero all of these out, and then we'll start from scratch. So this is what it sounds like when everything is at zero. It's really loud. And you see how you can't like really hear it. Like there's certain instruments like the lead that was just way, way too loud. Um, and we want everything to stand out and have its place. So let's go ahead, we're gonna turn off this sound good -alyzer for now. So the volume should be a lot lower once we play it. Um, we'll start off with our vocal, and with this vocal is the main instrument in the song, right? And we want all other elements to go either right or left of that main vocal so that it fits and nothing is clashing with our vocal. So let's go ahead, we got our vocal here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it down negative 9.4 so with negative 9.4 you see us drop that down um, we'll go ahead and keep the pan right there in the center for our pad is our next instrument let's see we're gonna go down negative 15.4 so negative 15.4 and then for the pan what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this 26 percent to the left right there 25 or 26 it's up to you guys we're just keeping it in the ballpark of that um, you guys can see up here in the status bar when we move this you can see it there it goes right there you see it was showing that 15 percent um, now we'll move on to the next instrument which is our lead and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this down let's see 20 percent negative 20 right there DB and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the lead let's go to the right 19 percent for our pan so we're gonna pan that lead 19 percent now let's go ahead and solo these real quick so you guys can hear what it sounds like so that's what we have so far. Let's go ahead and move on to our keys. For our keys, we're going to go ahead and drop that down to negative 
0.5. You see that there. And we'll go ahead and keep our um, keys in the center for our panning. We'll initiate that. Let's go ahead and move on to our hit. We'll initiate that as well with our hit. And we're going to go ahead and drop that down negative 12.9. Right there. There goes negative 12.9. And for our panning, we're going to move it to the left 12%. You see that there. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next. You know what? Let's go back. Let's move that actually to 16, 17% for our pan. So we just took that pan of our hit to the left. Um, let's go ahead and move on to our 808. So this is the base in the track. And we're going to go ahead and drop that down negative 11.8. So now we have that down at negative 11.8. We're going to keep that pen in the center. We'll move on to our kick and our snare. We'll initiate our snare and we'll go ahead and drop that down to, let's see, we'll just drop it down to negative 2.2. And we'll go ahead and keep that center for our pan. Let's go ahead to our kick. We're going to drop that down to negative 6.3. We'll keep that panned right in the center. And then the last instrument is our percussion. And we'll drop that down to, let's see, negative 10.2. And we'll go ahead and move that 13% to the right for our pan. So now we got it all done. Uh, but what I want to do is first, let's go ahead and solo out our drums. We'll even initiate the 808. So let's go ahead and hear what our just just our drums sound like right now. See how everything is having its place. Um, let's go ahead now and we'll initiate the hit. Go ahead and solo it out. Now let's go ahead and add some keys. We'll even add our pad in there. You see how you can pick out every single instrument in the beat. You guys can hear it. Everything is having its place. It's standing out. We'll go ahead and add our lead. Now this is a, a real important part, like we talked about a little earlier, leaving that headroom by adjusting the levels like we have, and we make sure that it's not zeroing out. Let's go ahead and show it. It should be hitting around negative two. kind of hitting around negative two to negative one it, that leaving that little bit of room right there allows us when we uh, apply our sound goodalizer here in FL studio it's gonna allow it to beef it up let's go ahead and show that again let's go we'll, we'll disable that sound goodalizer Turn it on. 